25-year-old Jared Hardwick, each welding project is a step toward a brighter future. The Carlisle resident left the military in November after serving four years with security forces at Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. Yeah, it's not for uh, a family man, I would say. Jared, a new father, says he felt finding a new career was his best bet. I got here November 19th. My final out day was November 23rd. And what's life been like since then? Uh, well, I, I was trying to look for a job when I first got back, and um, that was pretty tough. Jared says he looked for work, but didn't have any luck finding a job that matched his unique skill set. Uh, most kids that, when they first go into the military, they do not, they don't have a degree. So when they come out, they never finish school. So uh, it's it's hard to find. I mean, unless you want to work at a fast food restaurant or something like that, it's going to be hard to find a job unless you know a lot of people. Knowing his options were limited, Jared decided to go back to school and in January started training here at Elite Welding Academy in Cincinnati. Welding right now is one of the hottest careers going. Derek Cardaz is in charge of admissions and placement and says since they started accepting the post 9-11 GI Bill, they've seen an increase in veteran enrollment. Our last class we had two, we had two in this one, but we are a small school, um, but uh, we get calls daily. Since 2010, participation in the post-9-11 GI Bill has nearly doubled, and with more people going back to school, it's ultimately putting more vets back to work. The unemployment rates for post-9-11 veterans has dropped from 12.1% in 2011 to right around 10% in the last year. What do you think, you know, as an instructor and seeing on this side, that veterans have that some civilians don't? Um, they're more rounded. Um, they're usually on time. Um, they, uh, they, it's a better all-around person. Um, they've been sculpted into uh, a good individual. Jared is hopeful others will see value in his service, and with this new training, he'll succeed in his second career. I do think about it. I do worry about it a lot with a daughter and a wife, but um, you know, I just got to do it. Something you got to do.